Welcome to WHM On Screen, everybody. I'm Andrew Jupin, alongside the whole gang. Say hi, whole gang. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> hi, whole gang. <laughs> We're like a gang of White Walkers, huh? Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, that's right. We're talking about... The Game of Thrones mm -hmm. final season? Yeah, man. Overall uh, show opinions? Um, and I'll keep this brief. I know the least of, uh, of what's going on here. I did watch the finale. Mm. Right, I, I, was, I wanted to ask what other episodes you saw this year. Yeah. Did you see the bell? The bells, excuse me. That's the one where she fucking burns down yeah. King's Landing? No, I did not see that. The, the bell ends? <laughs> I saw... Um, I saw the big ba the battle yes. where the the knife the knife where the king knight thing. king gets fucking ganked. And just uh, spoiler alert, obviously uh, yeah, for the yeah. entire. Oh yeah, I mean like you know, come but on, yeah, wait, I mean come, come on. on. You wait, it's been a week, but yeah. So and then Steve, you watched the entire show. I watched every episode at least once, or just really just once. S uh, same thing for you. Yep, guys? watched them all, mm -hmm. and I watched them all, and I read the books. So this is. Yeah, it's dynamic. Eric's space, really. It's it's dynamic. Eric's dynamic. <laughs> don't be, you know, because they're not going to, so don't you get frustrated if I have questions. Because um, I might have some questions. Here's a question. Ooh. I've noticed from the internet, a lot of people hated this final season, it yeah. turns out. Uh, how are you guys all feeling about what went down? They are correct. I'm like, I, yeah, I, I think it's kind of... I think it was kind of a disaster. Like, a you know disaster. what I mean? Like, disaster. But, like, it doesn't, like, totally throw the whole show in the garbage. It just really affects that final score for me. Like, yeah, like, it's not a Dexter thing where, like, you genuinely, like, holy fuck, why did you do that? Yes. I can almost understand where the decisions came from uh -huh. slightly. Well, the, the bulleted list of what happens is good. Yeah. How they do all of it is bad. So it's just an execution situation. Yes, Eric, yeah, I, I would agree that like how they did it was bad because you needed to grow this stuff, take some time with it, because like the turn for Danny being a Mad Queen was kind of just out of nowhere. I think it was seventeen seconds long. <laughs> yes, yes, that turn. And now I know a lot of people are on the internet are like, well, if you look back, she uh, did execute those slavers, which is the same thing as burning King's Landing. No, it's not necessarily. Mm. I think it needed more to gestate and in the earlier seasons you got that because they were really following the books and it was well, slow the slow burn well it also seemed like this was a john wick thing it was because uh one person specifically that she was close to got killed and that yeah. uh, Mel melisandre melisandre yeah. you just called do we know melisandre melisandre was the was the red woman oh right uh, Missandei was Misande. what Chris just called the dog. No, <laughs> I meant the dead wife. Yes, <laughs> wife. The she dog. dies of oh, cancer. But All right. Yeah. So who? Oh, I guess the dragon. John Wick's the wife. John Wick's wife. Cancer doesn't, doesn't exist in the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Not that I know. Of. They got grayscale. They turned into like gray goblins for a little bit. I think a wizard could fucking fix it. I think that like, yeah, she goes from like zero to Hitler in like four seconds. And it's wow. not, it's not great because yeah. like, and I, I do think that, like, again, like I just need like some conversations with her. She has like 30 lines of dialogue in the last five episodes. And hey, Danny, you, uh, you thinking about killing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they should have reversed the order of their big battles. I think that yes. they should have done the Night King last and then taken King's Landing. And then they were like, the conflict would arise of, well, we need her even though she's gone crazy. Mm -hmm. And she... she and I think the gone crazy stuff would have worked if they gave it time to develop. Some of those last shots with like her ruling over the ashes yeah. and, and all the unsullied pounding their spears were cool. And I could have gone for like her like this evil Alexander the Great imperial queen thing of conquering the known world. I would have been fine with it if it was done, you know, I also, with some time. I also, <laughs> I also think that the the, the whole like. Dothraki unsullied bit is a bit racially weird when they're like they're running in down the streets cutting up like white children. It just felt well, a little bit yeah. off. I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> the killing kids part. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah, it to. just it's sort of like, oh my god, look what she unleashed on this society. Uh-huh. These people. Right. You know, maybe the thing is if you have a television series mm. that's based on a popular series of books, gotcha. uh, you shouldn't continue that show past where the dude has written. 
Yeah. It seems like everyone's general complaint is like when we left the book world, yes. it just started flushing toilets. Yes. And what's crazy about that is Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of Westeros, we all know. Woo! Uh, <laughs> He's, Stan- sti- he's still alive in the books. He's I'm still Stan- alive. I'm a Stannis head. I've always been a Stannis Which head. Which one's Stannis Baratheon? He was what's-his-face. that actually the one who burned his daughter to get the uh, happy magic. Yes. Uh, the Lord of the Light, yeah. Um, yeah, he's... Um, Stephen Delane? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's the rightful heir. Maybe we can heir. use actors' names <laughs> or no, things they've no, also been in. No, He's the rightful heir because, you know, uh, Robert Baratheon dies as his older brother, Stannis, and then the younger brother was Renly, who Stannis kills. And then Brienne, of all people, kills Stannis in the show. Again, don't worry, folks. Stannis is alive and well <laughs> in the books. John is actually dead in the books. Wow. He has not come back from the dead. It's just speculation. But I guess George R. R. Martin told uh, these guys yeah. what is supposed to happen. Kind yeah, of. I'm going to resurrect him. <laughs> yeah, no, excuse me. I'm on a conference call eating a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, All right, look, yeah, he's coming back. You got me for an hour. I'm going to be in the back of Del Vecchio's. I'm going to be <laughs> filling out my giant uh, fantasy football card. And I will be telling you the end of Game of Thrones. Does anybody know what the fucking problem is, by the way? It's just, he's, you know, he's a writer. He's a fickle it's most, dude. The most know. anticipated book maybe to ever be released. Well, I mean, also, I'd get the nerves, too. Uh, there was the new Bible. Uh, sure. <laughs> this is better than the Bible. But there's th- <laughs> these are big books. There are a lot of pages, but yeah. they're. When was they're the last so one? When did it come out? Twenty eleven. Okay, and also that's like, more recently than I thought. I, I, and in George R. R. R.'s credit, the guy's in his mid sixties. He's li- lived his whole life on like kind of fantasy writer wages and less than. He's lived his whole life wearing that hat, I think. But too. now he, he had his years in Hollywood. He wrote for Beauty and the Beast, the television show. But, Great but show. Now he's making it rain. Now he's got like this huge influx of money. He's probably going on vacation. He's got all sorts of sandwiches to sample. <laughs> no, I know you're making fun of him because he's a great big fat guy, but you should read the books because <laughs> the way he describes food is outrageously awesome. I'm the sure feasts, it's cool, man. Dude, the feasts alone. Uh-huh. Well, when you've eaten that many meatballs, <laughs> you really I can write get your excited. meatball story. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I can. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll write you a man and his meatball, a saga, a, a, a song of pork and beef, <laughs> yeah, sir. Meatball of gravy, bay. Yeah. You know what? Uh, here, here's a thing that I thought was a real fucking. Oh my god, you're right over there. Yeah, it's, it's a little sick. Gr- gray scale. Come, yeah. Uh, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, happening. Oh no. Oh yeah, you you uh, fucking sailed a little t- too close to Volantis <laughs> on that one. <laughs> You know what I, uh, who I think is like the biggest baller character of that series finale, Drogon. Oh yeah, because that fucker melted that chair that everyone <laughs> yeah. was fighting over. What a fucking it's kick a, in the teeth! It's a little on the nose. I kind of love that part. I mean, like I, th- I felt like I, that was my moment of like, oh, that poor dog. You know what I mean? Like he was bumming, dude. Yeah, he, he was, was like, bumming what he's hard. pushing her with the nose and stuff. Also, like the John, at the the Danny murder scene just. It happened so quick. The, the 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 way that the show did character deaths up to uh, before this season was great. That was the thing. It's like, how is this? F- it's not like the, the it's not when is this fucker gonna die? It's like, oh man, what are they gonna do to him? Right. And not like, not if, but how. Exactly. And, <laughs> yeah. And like for years, you're like, oh, Cersei's gonna get it, and like you're not even sure it happens. You're like, oh, okay. It's like a, a tasteful cutaway. With Danny, it's just like a little bit. Oh, I've been pricked. I die. You know. What yeah. I mean? And I mean, I know the emotional resonance of John doing it means something a little different. But even though I never bought I, their chemistry at all, but that's just me. For a minute there, when the he when uh, Tyrion was taking the bricks off the body, I was like, if if a, if a fist comes up, <laughs> I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I thought we were going like, to have like Jamie sh- Lannister. Did, when I saw that you fucking Iron Hand, yeah. I was like. Don't you move. <laughs> you stay dead, buddy. <laughs> you are rubble meat. You stay rubble meat. Mm-hmm. Cersei had nothing to do this season, which is a problem. Um, she could have done so many smarter things. She could have moved her armies to the north and mm-hmm. waited to like fight whoever survived that battle or whatever. Yeah, but like be, be a little closer. Or like the Bronn thing was the stupidest thing I've seen this season. Bronn? Yeah, Bronn like- coming back. Yeah, like her trying to hire Bronn to then assassinate 
his, Tyrion and Jamie, I his guess. His best friends, which yeah. he's d- totally not going to do. And then and then that scene, he comes in and he's got the crossbow on both of them. He's like, here's the de- here's the rub, guys. I'm going to take... And the, you know the director's like, faster, faster, faster. Okay, and then uh, when this is done, I'm going to get a, two castles and a, and a horse and a donkey. And like, all right, bye, Bron. See you in the last episode. It is... It is dumb that they didn't just leave that character alone. Let him yes. get a house and he's done and he's whatever. We can move on and focus on characters that are actually the core characters. Exactly. So that dude was like out of the game for a while? Is that the idea? I think he's dead in the books, right? Um, right. I don't recall. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I read it, but he gets Uh-oh. he gets granted land and titles and he marries someone. Oh. And he's kind of like fought for what he wanted and uh-huh. now he just sits back, right? But... They got to keep him on because he's a he's a cool guy. People yeah. liked him. But like give him something to, I would rather him not be in in those episodes. Like you know, maybe like the last scene you sh- the last episode maybe he does come back and is part of the council. That'd be like, "Oh, cool, Bronze back." Yeah. You know what I mean? That would be something, but like it was, just, right. give him, make give him, him ha- master whispers or something. Give yeah. him something to the underworld or whatever. Yeah. But or but more substantial scene like he's kind of just there for jokes is Yes. The, like have Tyrion go to his house and be like, "Look, I trust you. You're an evil bastard, but I trust you more than anybody else. I'm getting the band back together. Come be my master of coin. Yeah, exactly. Something. I could have sworn I saw that dude get killed in the big battle. So oh. there must have been some actor that kind of looked like him. Oh right. Oh, 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 I think you're thinking of the dude with the flaming sword there, Beldrick Dardarian. There, Beric Dardarian. Ber- yeah, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Lightning Lord, obviously. Well, yeah. um, Ooh, but... the Lightning Lord, Raiden. And that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Night King, man. Thumbs or, down. Or you might be thinking of also Dolores Ed of the Night's Watch. Um, <laughs> I I run with the Lord of the Light. <laughs> 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 the Lord. He's he's called the Lightning Lord. I think it's like one of his ancestors was struck by lightning while carrying a message to some other lord and oh, like shit yeah pretty that cool story good. man night king anybody <laughs> anybody care about what that was guy? that dude's problem that's i great, guess we'll great, never know <laughs> great question like was he were they worried that he was gonna t- try to take the iron throne well i mean he was just gonna destroy the world take with over his the planet, army basically. of zombie people you so know. because he got stabbed yeah. by Arya. yes using, all those zombies are dead using valerian steel which is what kills them, yeah. Uh-huh. And, and a I guess, silver bullet for a werewolf. Yeah, and it's like the vampire thing. You kill the head one, and for some reason, everything else dies. They all dies. die. Yeah. Yeah. So that whole zombie thread is done. Just yep, done. it's yep. just dropped. because it, it's, it's aggravating, too, because like we actually saw flashbacks in the show of the children of the forest who are such a... Yeah. We don't care about them anymore. Nope. Uh, Children them? of the forest different than wildlings? Yeah, yes. okay. they are like... Um, you ever see the Max von Sydow episodes? No, he's like the he, they they're running with him. They're like the little elves and okay. And he's, they he's, are the he's original Brand before Bran becomes the third yes. eye raven guy. He's the original third eye that raven. I, that I knew. Yeah. Okay. Brendan Rivers. He started Westeros as Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! If you didn't say it, I was, it was like right at the edge of my mouth. No, no he started the Killers. <laughs> he was a Targaryen bastard who lived like uh, so many a fucking long bastards. Time. God, they really care about wedlock. Mm, they, they really, really care about. Wedlock. I think he was. I think when he was played by Max von Sydow, I think he was like 140 years old or so, and he was the close to Max von Sydow. <laughs> yeah, really. Also, known oh my as God, how am I going to play someone <laughs> 10 years older than me? <laughs> I better. How would I walk in 10 years? I better figure that out. I mean, this. I, I've seen the turn of the 20th century. <laughs> yeah, so von Sydow had a bunch of episodes, but oh, Ian McShane was only in a single episode. Yes, okay, that was right. And he his character was botched as well because they kind of combined Ian McShane's ca- character was combined uh-huh. of two different characters, including Septon Maribald, which would have been a great story if they actually pursued it. The thing is, there was so much in the books that they could have kept doing. Yeah, but they decided, no, 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 let's get to the the big stuff, the big stuff. Do you buy that? Well, here's I think so I. I I don't think that the episode structure this season worked. I think the 80 minute episodes didn't add anything, actually, just kind of reduce. It was jumping for set pieces, which didn't work. Exactly. And it's just sort of like. I didn't need the, the the big fight to be that long. Like usually, like you know, the, the Battle of Blackwater was awesome within its time constraints. The Battle of the Bastards, yeah. also within its time constraints. I didn't need everything to be. Over Were both of those like episode long battles, though? Yeah. and Yeah, but I mean, like. Still, just like the the HBO fifty five ish maybe, and at the beginning, like the fucking like uh, finally this action figure gets to talk with this action figure structure. Like we haven't had these two fucking characters who have no reason to talk talk yet. I would say here's a move. 
which can't happen because it already happened. But if they if they just did like three three hour movies and like uh, spread it out throughout a year, like uh-huh. in January you get a three hour thing, in June you get a three hour thing, and then in December you get a three hour thing. Right. At least like the breaks would make it feel like yeah. You know, you you would like resonate on stuff like the Jamie Brienne thing happening in one episode is just oh like my God, yeah, what are we talking about? Like it's just why even do it? Just also, don't even do it. He should have died in the north. Yeah. Because yeah. follow the redemption story he's been on instead of going back to Cersei. It's and stupid. Like, and he knew, like, when he leaves King's Landing, he knows she's going to die. And then someone, go- he does all this shit in uh, at Winterfell, and then someone's like, you know she's going to die. And he's like, oh, holy shit. You know what I mean? Like, you knew that. That's <laughs> what you knew. That's what, you know what I mean? Like, all that knowledge was there. I didn't buy it. And I mean, like, it just, it's, a lot of it was really easy. And, like, again, like, the bullet points were mostly fine. The last episode I found, like, mostly was, like, somebody reading a Wikipedia page entry uh, of what happens in the last episode of Game of Thrones. Right. I mean, I, the, I, I kind of, I, you know who really jumped out for me uh, is, is a uh, Urine Greyjoy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful. Yeah, he, I, I thought, I mean, but he, at least felt like a character that felt fully formed. You in liked DC. Euron Greyjoy in this? Uh, Euron Greyjoy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I like it. I like get peed on I'm Euron Greyjoy. <laughs> yeah, He's... I got that name because uh, centuries back, one of my family members got pissed on by a raven while delivering a message. <laughs> the only raven that ate asparagus, as you can smell. Yeah. Oh, but, oh. He was great in the books, I'll say that much. But this is just ridiculous. The, the fucking giant arrows, the ballista that then... Just he's able to ins- just peg this dragon to death like yes. three or four shots, no problem. Mm-hmm. Then the next one, it's like, oh blimey, I didn't do the, I didn't <laughs> I, load the fucking feathers right. I yeah. just like him because he's like the epitome of like your piece of shit high school friend that you don't talk to anymore. Sure, that last scene where he's like, but I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, but that's the thing, too, is, like, I, I mean, I, I totally agree with Eric that the whole, the arrow shit, like, is, is it something? Is it not something? What is it? But the Euron Greyjoy stuff was, like, he was that character where it's, like, oh, he's got some agency, but he's got nothing to do. And he's, like, he magically shows up to fight Jamie Lannister and is, like, yep, here I am. It's, like, are, are you? Are you here? He teleports a lot in this yes, season. Yes, yes. I got these camel co- cash coupons with me. Now, the uh, thing that didn't work the most for me out of this entire season, uh-oh. people who follow me on Twitter would not be surprised to hear this. It is I, the I, Golden I, Company. Yeah. Uh-huh. Speaking of urine, <laughs> urine's gold. So, uh-huh. quick for me. Okay. What? Their the, they're soldiers bathed in piss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're always wet. They are, okay, so the Golden Company in the show was hired by Cersei, and they are the knights in gold armor outside of the walls of King's Landing, uh-huh. who are then instantly destroyed by the dragon in the episode you did not watch. Okay, she, <laughs> she lights those dudes up. Right, yes. But now in the books and everything, the Golden Company is this kind of famous... Um, uh, mercenary army that are Westerosi exiles. Okay. So a lot of people in that company would have been potentially kicked out of Westeros because of Robert's rebellion and mm-hmm. him taking the throne. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's a lot of Targaryen bastards, including the Blackfires, and they kind of just bred into the company. So like you've got descendants of exiles, mm-hmm. and Targaryen blood is in the Golden Company. And even though... The Golden Company has a history of portraying the Targaryen crown to try to install a Blackfire bastard on the throne. Instead, I just feel like it would have made more sense for them to side with, uh, uh, you know, Danny. Yeah, or, or or even maybe work both sides, like be a Trojan horse for or, Danny, or do something. Like I mean, I, I don't know any of that stuff. I, that's very interesting, and I want to. I do kind of want to read the book. Like, like, yeah, it's like ten thousand Jorah Mormonts yeah. are standing there. Oh shit! Yeah. But yeah, and we get fucking nothing about them. We treat them like the second sons. Th- they're just bare. They bar- like the, that one guy has like two lines of dialogue, and he goes, Whoop! and he gets like burned up. And it's like, then don't have those. <laughs> yeah. Don't have that, that guy, threat at all. That just guy don't was even put Harry him. Strickland, also nicknamed Sir Homeless Harry, and it's just like at least Homeless <laughs> Captain because, Handsome. Are you they're, talking they're, about? Yes, yes, because they're exiles. At least give me a fucking scene where Cersei gets dialogue because she had none in this season. Yes, exactly. Where she grants them lands and titles. Like give give it some re- some reason. Funny enough, in the books, the Golden Company land in Storm's End. They take the the uh, Baratheon seat mm-hmm. away from them in the name of Aegon Targaryen, which we found out is Jon Snow. But they've got an imposter 
they're going to install on the throne instead of John or whoever. I was reading about that guy. He sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's 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 fun. But you, like, imagine if we just did the show as is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly, Danny and John and everyone find out that there's a Targa- another Targaryen army that's already invading Westeros before them. It would be fucking crazy. It's it's something. It's it would a, be it's, something. It's a surprise. <laughs> yes. It would be like some. I don't know. Some stay like. I mean, the stakes are really, really high, but also, like, I just never... Once the Danny thing happened, the sh- all the air was out of the balloon. Like, so that's the thing of the season. And, like, again, you don't give her any time to say what she's doing. or And I don't need to explain Second to Second to the last episode, we're fucking hunkering into her going crazy. Yes, we need and a I lot more of that. And I know she was like, like, why would she even help... The yeah. North against the the the, the White Walkers. It, if she was going mad, it, it doesn't make like the, the whole. There's no strategic advantage to burning that city to the ground. Like Not you know what all. I mean. Like Cersei's here. Why are you burning all of this up and down and up and down? Like just go and and blast her, and then you've won. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, Chris. I mean, if you had any scene where you actually see her dealing with the death of her. Uh, her friend there. Yeah, like, sure. I would maybe understand it, but like it literally happened fifty minutes ago in your storyline. Yes, exactly. What the fuck am I? S- and we don't get any. And the same thing goes for the Night King, where yep. like another fifty minutes with the Night King. You, <laughs> I don't even need to know where he started. Mm-hmm. Just like when he had a temp job and was like trying <laughs> to make rent in New York. Like that's all I need, folks. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Dude, or, I would watch that. The Night King's like got an internship somewhere. <laughs> oh, my my buddy's band is playing in the Bowery, but I don't have enough for the cover charge. You know, I asked that intern to fax something for me, and he gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh, man. You still use faxes? Jesus. <laughs> I, I do like that Arya got to kill him, gave Arya something to yes. do. And she's been, she was actually one of the better characters this season. Yes, By the way, before absolutely. we close this out, I've got to mention. Yeah. The Hound versus the Mountain, I thought it worked. I a thought plus. it was good. Yeah. Although, maybe a little too zombie-ish for yeah. the Mountain. I didn't like that character design from the beginning. I didn't like yeah. that fucking Orko helmet he was wearing, that big like thing that was that silly was looking. A, I remember that helmet. That was pretty fucking stupid. I have to say, though, the Hound facing his fucking fire fear. Yeah. Yeah. Not too shabby. I, I, li- I, I liked that part. It's I took like a, a well-developed way to go I out. I love Quiburn being just thrown, his head just thrown into a rock oh, instantly. Oh, yeah, that's, ooh, yeah, that, that, that's that a pretty brutal, brutal one. I, I, there's stuff there. There's some there, stuff. There are, there are moments I do like in this in this season. I just wish it had more time to develop. I don't... It should have been more episodes, cutting it, it to been. seven. Like you know what, make them all long. Then make ten, make them all long. And or if you, you and it, when you're looking at that stuff, and you just look at look at what's going on, and be like, okay, then we need more brand scenes. If we're gonna give the crown to Bran at the end Who of this, wasn't fucking, even he was gone from a whole season. He was gone for a whole season, and was like, on whole, vacation. <laughs> in the yeah. whole series, he's the whole last season. They're like, "Hey, be the Lord of Winterfell." I was like, "I mustn't. I don't want things anymore. I'm much above this. Like, what if you're the king?" Is like, "Well, that would be pretty awesome, actually." But like, can he see everything like forwards and backwards? Yes. Yeah. So, and his dick when it's work. convenient. And his dick doesn't work. By the we got to point by, that out. By, by, by the way, Brand's <laughs> dick he doesn't work. What happened? Well, because he fell off that tower. Well, he's, no, his, he's his been sis- in a wheelchair. For they're a like, while. "Hey, how about uh, Brand's the king?" And Sansa's like, "That guy is dick." Don't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talking I mean, about that guy over there? You can get a fucking hat on. I'm just saying. Don't you think then maybe he like <laughs> ran like he's like Doctor Strange and he's like I ran 14 million scenarios yes. and maybe yep. it is best if I become he the king. Could, yeah, he could kill. He didn't want to be Lord of Winterfell, but he wanted to be fucking <laughs> king of everything. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody wants to yeah. rule the world. He could kill <laughs> further rebellions in the cradle um, for sure. But like, it's just he's supposed to be above it. He's, he's supposed, supposed to be above, above yes. all that shit. Yeah. Or tell maybe me why. He, maybe he, he sits down and says that to somebody. He's like, well, there are dark things coming that only I can stop if I'm the king. Like That's sort of something. He, he's kind of a better master of whispers. Yeah, so exactly. exactly. John's li- lineage was such a big part for him, his character throughout the show. And it's like, that was just like a red herring for him to get on the throne. Yes. <laughs> and then like... Sans- shithead. And then Sansa... <laughs> It's like, yeah, dude. Oh, by the you're at a meeting. They're, they're, they're having this king meeting. Like, who's going to be the king? Tyrion's doing a bunch of shit. And Sansa's like, oh, yeah, Winterfell doesn't want to be part of uh, this uh, anymore. And everyone's like, all right, cool. Next door. Like, everyone- Why don't all the kingdoms separate? Exactly. What, what, if, if that's on the table, if I'm fucking door and I'm like, oh, cool, I'm out too. Yeah. Well, you know, Winterfell voted leave, dude. And they fucking <laughs> did it. 
And you know what? Maybe the rest of the kingdom should have fucking voted leave too, but... Uh, I, so Sansa's going to get a milkshake thrown at her at some point? <laughs> yes. Of course she is. Yes. I mean, it, it felt like... The, the brand thing felt very much like a non-decision. Like, if they just say, what the fuck? It's better than pissing off half our audience yes. and not and not pissing off the other that's half. That's true, that's fair. We'll just say this and they'll all just be so confused. <laughs> And then for some reason, we're all just agreeing to do what a foreign army wants and have John be, go back to the go back to jail, basically. Go yes. back, take the black. Also, like I, that's a very convenient time jump after fucking, uh, after he kills Daenerys Targaryen and Grey Worm like, puts this dude in jail. Grey Worm would have cut his fucking head off. Like, Grey Worm at the end of that doesn't make any gosh darn sense. Well, he's, he's committing they, war crimes all around. Yeah. Well, they, they, the cut uh, at the end of the ceremony to uh, for Brand the Broken is yeah. also that because he's like, he, they're like, look, he's going to serve his entire life making uh, up for everything he's done. Yeah. And he's like, that's not enough. Cut. Yes, exactly. Like, what, what was the compromise? And the compromise is Jon Snow doesn't die? Yeah. That's yeah. the big compromise? Yeah. That, dude, that little dude's got to gotta hang. I'm sorry. That's it. But Somebody's got to die. One of them's <laughs> got to die. I'm sorry. Uh, here's Grey a question. Worm would be the one to kill. He's a foreign whore. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they offer... They offer foreign whore? Horde. <laughs> Horde. Oh. With a they, hard D at the well, we end. Oh, I see. We also don't know what happened to the Darth Dothraki, which is a legitimate horde. Yep. Yeah. We're talking horde talk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Horde talk. That's why, that's why I said racially hordes. weird earlier. Well, they try the to give the Unsullied like lands and titles and stuff. They reject them. Then mm. then why have them have a vote in your council? Where does he, where does he go at the end? He's he like, goes oh, to Masande's oh, house. Where they were going to go. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, like, the that, land she's from. But also, they're like, who are you? I don't even... First of all, I don't remember my daughter. That was a long time ago. Everyone dies. <laughs> Everyone's life expectancy is 19 years. So Pops. whatever. Yeah, exactly. So I don't I don't even know. I don't have to feed your friends? You're, you're saying you were her boyfriend? No, ew, get out of here. By the way, how was it that Grey Worm knew that Jon Snow fucking did the deed. That's something that came up, yeah. Drogon fucking takes that corpse and just fucking shits and gets with all of the evidence. And, uh, did Jimmy Jon ha- Snow fucking own up he, to it? That's what happened to did. Jimmy Hoffa as well. A dragon took him. <laughs> Speaking of Jersey. <laughs> I, you know, all things said, I did like Jon's ending. I yes. like I like that he's he's going to become Mance Radar. Yeah. Mance Radar, our favorite. Kieran Hines. Um, oh, thank you. He's uh, going to become king beyond the wall, basically. He's going to lead the free folk. I was just glad that Mr. Giant's Bane lived but, to see the end of the series. Yeah. He was my favorite. But, but quickly, so now there's going to be the Six Kingdoms, Bronn as yeah. king, yeah. Sansa as, ki- as queen of uh, the, uh, north. the North, and then now Jon Snow as king beyond the wall. So we have, we have a... Stark ruling every facet of the continent, and that's uh-huh. not going to sit well eventually, right? You know, if I'm Grey Worm, I'm like, you know what? Fine, cool. <laughs> Castrate that dude, though. Yeah. Like, that's it. Oh, oh, yeah. I got most, mine done. <laughs> most most things end in Westeros with dick trauma. Let's go for it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. By the way, this may be a silly question, but why did it go from seven to six kingdoms? Because uh, Winterfell leaves. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Oh, yes. I see. I got you. So gotcha. now, now, now we're down to six. Gotcha. That's what I kind of, I, like, my biggest issue with the whole season finale specifically, or the series finale, rather, mm-hmm. yeah. is that all the storylines essentially end on sequel cliffhangers. Yeah. Like, absolutely. It's every single one of them is a you're not going to believe this moment. But, uh, I don't know what's west of Westeros. We have the psychic child of oblivion here. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me? At least tell me if they're sand snakes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, oh, but but that's same. a good question. Are they doing like they're doing that Naomi Watts show, which takes place a billion years in the past or something like that? Right. Oh, and I Naomi don't... Watts is on it. Huh? Yeah, yes. so I'm, mm. I'm excited for that. But I it, do, but but it, are they doing sequels? Or are we not doing? Sequels? I think it's movies. No, oh. I, I don't know. I think well, at least right now, I think the, all the cast has said they do not want to revisit their roles. Okay, but that might just be what they're saying right now. That's what yeah, uh, but... that's what Aaron Paul said too, and then he's like, "Yo, dude, can I get back on Better Call Saul? Oh, cool, a Jesse Pinkman movie." even better is that ha- wait oh yeah th- th- that's happening they're oh, doing yeah. the jesse pinkman movie and vince gilligan i believe is directing it sure He's but he didn't be... come back to better call saul did he no but i think he wanted to like yeah. it was oh, literally oh, just yeah. like did kinda... you guys see the trailer for westworld with him oh no he's it's on him. westworld yeah. yeah 
It actually Ooh. looks good now because reason to tune back into that show. It, they're off the park and it looks just like cyberpunk. It looks like Blade Runner and oh, Aaron Paul yeah. running around. I thought it was like an. I thought it was a neuro. I thought they were making a neuromancer series. Okay. All of a sudden, I was like, "What? I didn't hear about this." Yeah. And it's him and Kid Cudi. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. I'm so removed from most HBO yeah. original programming. Like I watch Veep. Well, yeah, and Sex Taxi. Oh, and so, oh, of <laughs> course, my beloved sex taxi. I, I, taxi yeah. cab confession. <laughs> oh, no, they rebooted right. it as sex taxi. <laughs> what do you guys think of the uh, series finale? Sexy uh, sex cab. Uh, wait, taxi cab confessions. What do you think of that? The uh, series finale. I said of too many sequels. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're getting into all kinds of cars at the end of it. When that drunk girl turns on her friends, it was very. Un- oh no, I didn't see her grown mad like that. They didn't, really didn't take the time to develop that. <laughs> The only but HBO series you really have to watch is Barry. I did like the oh, yeah. I did Barry's like amazing. when the John left the sex taxi and walked <laughs> off into the woods <laughs> with his redheaded buddy there and their <laughs> dog. I will say that that final season of Veep was fucking awesome. It I've was, been hearing it's good. It was fucking sour, dour, and That's fucking what you want? just I am yeah. I don't know. So behind it on it, but I did like it. It when was I watched it was it. totally great. Um, I like the books better. The Veep books. <laughs> the, the Veep books. You mean the news? <laughs> uh, so fi- final parting thoughts on on Game of Thrones. Eight seasons, a lot of time, a lot of devotion, yeah. a lot of mixed emotions. A real roller coaster. Let's from what Eric, I can tell. Let's let Eric go last because okay, he's going to yeah. have the big one. That's yeah. Good. So uh, I, I, I guess I'll start. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I, I mean, like, I still think like. It's hard to say, like, would I recommend the whole series to a friend? Right. It's right, hard right. because the ending, and it's like it's that lost thing, which I didn't get into. But like, if if we're all building towards something and the something's not great, right. it makes the whole thing kind of not as fun. But there's so much great stuff in that. I a lot of characters that I really loved, mm-hmm. a lot of performances that I really loved, and a lot of set pieces I really loved. It's just it 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 moved it from like an. Like a B down to like a C plus at best. Oh, interesting, Chris Gavin. Yeah, C plus is about where I would say. Yeah. Like uh, I, I liked for the it, entire show for the whole the whole show. C plus. Hmm. That's kind of where C I'm plus. at. That's kind of where I'm really? at. Really. Um, like I think it started off very well, and I like r- the first four seasons specifically. I remember really, really liking. Yep. But like once again, it's when Martin kind of exits yeah. or his his texts exit the whole thing. Yeah. Like s- in season six, which got. A, a lot of derision too like i prefer that like we're going on a big adventure stupid shit yeah to this dower like we've got to set up this big ending shit yeah. mm-hmm. so i was actually much more into that like idea like we've got to go and the dragon saves him at the last minute from the night king stuff that i thought was great mm. but like this i'm just like get to it get to it and then when <laughs> i got to it Nothing fucking happened. You know, Chris, I felt good about my C plus grade until you gave it a C plus. I'm like, am I being too hard? Well, you you are now one of the most contrarian. Yes. The most contrarian TV critic. <laughs> I will say from what I saw, which was seasons one through four, then the finale of six. Mm-hmm. I don't think we did an on screen for the finale of seven. We probably did. I this think. isn't this the seven or is it eight? Well, this is eight. This is eight. Okay. Um I mean, it's just, I've said it before that, like, fantasy shit isn't really my bag. I real I stopped watching it because I realized I was just watching it to keep up and, like, feel relevant. Sure. I feel bad for all the people that were bumming about the end of the season. As someone who was, like, a lost diehard and didn't hate that final season entirely. Yeah. But, like, I get it. You know what I mean? But yeah. I would just recommend, like, if you didn't like this last season... Don't forget all the joy that the other seasons yes. brought to you. You still had fun with it, and That's like, true. it doesn't entirely negate that stuff. Like, you can still rewatch that other shit, and it's not going to be like, you know, oh yeah, well she's training with the Hound now, but she just fucking kills that Night King, and boy, is that stupid. That's it's true. About I- the thrones we made along the way. <laughs> oh, yes. And you're I talking about a, a season four Battlestar Galactica apologist right here. Oh yeah, no, I, I, Battlestar. I think top to bottom. Is that was the musical great. season. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I would give this entire show a B plus because it's about the fun we had along the way and bring back fantasy, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that was a right. dead genre, dude. Dead. But well, Lord back. of the Rings and The Hobbit were massive. That doesn't count. <laughs> How does that not count? Because that, that's he doesn't a, want it's it. It's a count. legacy yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. a title. That's a title that will always be made. 
and will always be remade like they did those cartoons in the 70s that I did also disliked. <laughs> Rather than being expanded and sequelized. I need to read the books for The Lord of the Rings. I need to rewatch the movies. I only watched them once in the I theater. tried reading Fellowship, and it's one of those books where it's like, now you're going to read the lyrics to a song? Fuck yeah. you. Yep. George R. R. Martin done. has some music in his books, yeah, too. I'm not it's reading great. lyrics. Some of those um, songs are pretty good. <laughs> Tolkien I want to say has an, an ear for it. I don't give if a shit. If you like the sh- if you like the show at all, right. read the books because you get so much more out of it. I, I think it's a b- better, more rich experience. And also, read the Black Company by Glenn Cook. Ooh. It's a very good series. Is that being adapted? Be um, supposedly, it was going to be adapted. Uh huh. And then Aaron Paul backed out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what the status is on it. It was being kicked gotcha. around. Uh-huh. Um, also, other good fantasy novels. Uh, right now, I'm reading the Elric Saga, which is really cool by okay. Michael Moorcock. And I like the uh, the King Killer Chronicles, but it gets very sexualized. It's, it's kind of dividing the internet. It gets very sexy towards the end of that second book. But. Sexy stuff is dividing the internet? Yeah. Huh. Well, if you can believe it, sex stuff as opposed to Game of Thrones, which <laughs> didn't have any sex yes. stuff in it whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, sex stuff, <laughs> fantasy, <laughs> love it. Uh-huh. There you go, gang. That is the WHM on screen for Game of Thrones season eight. Until next time, I'm Andrew Jupin, Stephen Sidak, Chris Cabin, Eric Sis Stark. Yeah, no, like a, you know, like either. a cousin of the Car Starks. Uh-huh. They know. <laughs> you do know. Take it easy. Uh-huh.